Hey everyone, Steve Jackson from Printables Warehouse here, and just another quick tutorial video in Corel. Another cut line issue. This one is uh, fairly common. That uh, the graphic here looks very simple, but it can have a couple things in there that'll throw you off just a little bit and make life a little uh, difficult. So what the person was trying to do was create a graphic here where it has this oval shape with the softball in the middle. That's not going to be cut out. This is going to be printed on a white media and then the Midwest Mustangs up here and then they wanted a cut line around it. What's happened in this and what's throwing them a little bit is the fact that the uh, graphic itself when you engage any of the lettering up here if you look down in the corner over here you can see it's an outline on it. Now because it's an outline if I try to apply the cut contour to it well now my black outline goes away. Y you can't apply an outline to an outline. So we're going to set that one back. There's a couple things you could do with this. With the portions in here, I could go to Arrange and go to Convert Outline to Object or Control Shift Q. Now when I do that, most of the time it does a good job. You can see that now it's a, a fill down over here. It's not an outline anymore. And we could do the surround it all, uh, the three-step method that we talk about a lot and apply the cut line to it. The problem with that though is if you were to erroneously take this now and right click on it, now if I zoom in I see I've applied a cut line to the inside and the outside. And that, that's where some issues can come in. So let's back out of that. And then also if I want to do the three step method, draw a line going around it to select all that portion there. Do my boundary, create a boundary surrounding it apply there and then right click on the cut line. I've got a cut line around the outside and that works fairly well. No issues here. And then I could go to my Smart Fill tool, give it no fill, specify the outline as 0.5 or hairline, whichever. And then I've also specified the outline color is going to be my cut contour color. On the inside right here, I could simply click and now I've got a cut line on the inside of that. So not a bad way to go there. But we're going to try it another way. So I'm going to, I'm hitting Control Z a couple times and we're back to the original graphic as it was with the outline around it. Oop, one more step. I can see down here that it's a, a fill, so I need one more step. What I'm going to do instead, because sometimes when you're working with this and this graphic, it didn't get affected too much. When you convert an outline to an object, sometimes you can get some funky corners. Let's, let's see if it does it up here. We'll do the shortcut, Control Shift Q, and nope, it actually did an okay job. Um, what I prefer to do is use the contour tool. So we'll zoom in on this guy because I want to be real nice and close and I'll select the letter right there and I'm going to go to my contour docker. Uh, to open up dockers it's window, dockers, and then choose the different ones you want. I've got them checked here for the ones that I want. So I've got this docker open now and I've expanded it out and I want to contour out. So it's set right now to go to the inside. I want to go to the outside and we'll start with a point one. Let's see where that hits on there. And that was way too big, wasn't it? So let's uh, let's drop that down a little bit in here. Maybe 0 0.05. That's pretty close, but let's make our outline color a different one. And we'll make it like yellow so I can see it better. So there's the, the fill and then the outline on there. Um, Actually, this is a little bit difficult way to see it, so I'm going to back up. I want you guys to see my mistakes too. So we're, we're back to the original drawing. I am going to make a copy of this so I can see how far it's going. Or, actually an easier way would be again that um, convert outline to object. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to see how far out my, my contour line needs to go. But anytime you do a contour on something, I'll draw a little box here. Anytime I apply a contour to something, it's going to apply the same properties as the inside to the outside. So this one had no fill, and it gives it an outline, and it uses the same outline size that this one had. So I did the contour on this portion down here while it still had an outline in, in the fill in there. Then it applied it to there, and it became too much to see. So it wasn't easy to see on the, the screen there. So I've converted my outline to object. I prefer to do all my outlines on every lettering using the contour tool. I don't use the outline tool at all. So we've got our, our one here that's the, you can see on the fill, that's the converted outline to object. And then my original lettering in here, you can see it's got a fill right there and it's on the center. Now if I were to move this to the side and give it a fill so you can see it, you can see, and let's give it a different color so you can see it a little bit better. 
you can see, I'll put it right back, that it is actually into the center of that. Because when you apply an outline to an object, it goes towards the inside and the outside. It goes out from the two. And that's not quite what we wanted. But let's try working with this one. And we'll do the outline tool and we'll have it bumped out. So we'll hit apply. So now I've got that outline going out like this. Even if I arrange this to the back of the page so you can see where it hits, uh, order and to back of page, that was a little too much. We wanted a little bit less than that. So let's drop that down even more. We'll go 0 0.03 and that's pretty close. If I zoom in, I can see just a little bit extending past. So I'm, I'm happy with that one. So let's take our black outline that was converted, get rid of that. And here's where an issue comes in. You see it's not as thick going around it because it, a contour goes to the outside. It doesn't go to the outside and inside. It just goes to the outside. So if we wanted this a little bit thicker, we could make it that way. Let's, let's bump it up just a little bit, 0 0.05. And that looks fairly close to the original graphic that the person had. And that uh, will work fairly well for what we're doing. So I've got my graphic set here. I've got that outline, uh, that contour on there. Now I need to break that contour group apart because if I move these, they're stuck together. They're kind of like welded together. And I can see down here it says contour group on layer one. So what I'll do with this is that contour group right there, I can go to arrange, break contour group apart, or control K. Now I've got two objects selected when I select outside of it and then click back on the inner portion, you can see I'm moving them independently. Now why this is a better way to go is you can see the inside of the A is its own portion there. I didn't have to use that Smart Fill tool. So if I go back to this here, and now I take that outer line there that's supposed to be black, so we'll make it a black, and we want to apply a cut contour to this guy. All I need to do is right click on cut contour, and there we go, we have a perfect cut contour not only on the outside, but the inside. So it's better to work with the contour tool, especially with lettering, when you want to do these types of functions. So we've got our lettering right there. We've got a nice cut line around the outside of it. This guy up here, I'm going to use that convert outline to object or control shift Q. And now you see it's now an object. I'm going to give it a darker color so it prints a little bit nicer. I like using RGB black instead of a CMYK black. So I've got that object there. On this one, if I applied the contour, cut contour to the outside of it. Zoom in again on it. Remember, if I do that, it's going to do it on the inside and outside, and you should be able to see that there, inside and outside. So that one, if I'm using the, the uh, convert object to outline, or convert outline to object, excuse me, um, it, you have to do the other method of drawing the line or selecting everything by going around it, creating a boundary, then right clicking on the cut line that applied my cut line to the outside of it right where I wanted but now I need to go back and use that smart fill tool to fill in these two so I'll go again to the smart fill no fill specified it and gave it that uh, what width and what color I wanted and one and two and we've got cut lines on the insides of those so that finishes up the lettering up there this softball down here it's a separate object in between the two and actually on the softball, we don't need an outline on this, especially since we don't want to see it in there. So we'll remove that outline. And maybe you can work on the kerning a little bit to make it look like it's uh, all touching in there. So let's grab the kerning tool. Oh, it's not an actual um, lettering. It's not a font anymore in this graphic that was sent to me. So on this, I might want to adjust those so that they're touching or redo that font so that the kerning is set in so that they're overlapping and they don't see it. So on this one, it's a little bit easier because we just have this solid oval that we're working with. And on that one there, again, I'll change the color so it's a nice dark, deep black. Um, let's grab that guy once more. There we go. And I want no outline on that. Or I'll actually come over and I'll right-click on my outline for the cut contour. And there it is right down in there. You can see it going all the way around it. And it looks like it has two objects there. There's another object here. Hmm. And I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. It's got some sort of residue behind it. So I'll have to look into that one a bit more and see why it does that. But right now that, uh, well, let's see if that's a, it is a group. That's why. So since it's grouped, we've got something else going on in there. It's always fun to diagnose graphics. Let's see what's going on. 
That's still a group of two objects, so ungroup all. And that's a contour group going on. So we'll have to control K to that because that was contoured for some reason. And now we've got that other one and you can see um, the, the graphic when it was created, whoever did it, they were trying to do it with contours, which is fine, um, but they did a fill in there. There was That one should have been a right click to give it the outline instead of a left click to fill it. So we can delete that. We don't need that anymore. And now it's set up properly. So this, this design here is ready for print and cut. It's got the cut line around all the letters. We use a smart fill tool up in here. We, after converting an outline to object, and down here we use the contour tool to move out the edge around the, the lettering, and then we apply the cut line to that contour group after we'd ungrouped it there, or, or broken it apart. So a fairly quick way to set up a graphic here. I hope this has helped, and uh, if you have any other questions or challenges for me, send them my way. Thanks for stopping by.